After the hearing about the tragic incident, truck drivers across the country are reacting to the news. CBS 4's Priscilla Estrada spoke to truck drivers right here in the valley. They got up in, in top of there. When I got a checkpoint, I got caught. But I didn't know about it. It's a real bad place. Too much smuggling. There. That was what 60-year-old truck driver Octavio Baldasso says happened to him a little over five years ago as he was going through the Falfurias checkpoint. The Rio Grande Valley is well known as a hotbed for illegal crossings by immigrants coming from mostly Mexico and Central America, and many go to area truck stops and climb on top of tractor trailers to hide from agents as they go through the checkpoints, and even the drivers don't realize they have people hiding on top of the rigs. One such incident happened on June 22nd as two Edinburgh investigators were at a truck stop in North Edinburgh in response to many complaints of narcotics and human smuggling activity at the location. And according to a criminal complaint, the two investigators witnessed a 16-year-old juvenile being dropped off in the truck stop's parking lot and climb on top of a tractor trailer, concealing himself behind the wind deflector of the tractor. Edinburgh police arrested the immigrant and two other men who had dropped him off at the truck stop. This was the same way Mr. Baldasso says immigrants climbed on his truck five years ago. Since then, he's got a new truck to avoid the same situation. They can go nowhere. Uh, okay, so there's no way for them to jump no. up there now? Nope. So they designed it now for them to not yeah, be able to... Yeah, they designed to cover that up. There used to be a hole right there, mm -hmm. but now they designed it pretty good. Now I know, uh -huh. but you have to check your trailer anyway, every time you take off. 43-year-old Shauna Morris has been a truck driver for almost three years and is still in shock after hearing about the human smuggling tragedy where dozens of immigrants were found in a hot semi-trailer in San Antonio. Ten of them died. Um, I hope whoever did it, they find it and do more than just convict him, put him in a trailer it's over 100 degrees and 100 degree weather. It's probably about 200 degrees in there. See what happens. Morris says as a truck driver, you sometimes unfortunately don't know what you are carrying. You have a lot of drivers. They pick up preloaded trailers. You know, every once in a while I pick up a preloaded trailer. It's already got a seal in it. That's right. As a driver, I can't open it up. Both truck drivers say they are glad checkpoints are a pretty extensive process, but regardless, they know they have to keep an eye on their trucks. In Edinburgh, Priscilla Estrada, CBS4 News and Valley Central.com.